set it up as like this goaded storyline and that's okay, it. we're not gonna see the and then you just didn't even know the answer? Talk about an April Fool's joke indeed. But Snivy, here on Battlefield, we even though Yoshio, despite the name, right? A Samus main does have a very strong secondary with the character, and are gonna opt against the Samus Ditto because I mean Icy Mist might just be the best there is in North America. Yeah, this is a very prideful battle on the line here. There's a lot. I already know that all of Philly in the chat, all of Philly in the crowd. It's just, it's just Yoda case. <laughs> and it's rooting for you. I was gonna say. But we're in Icy Miss's home turf. I was gonna say, where is Yoda Cage? Because I feel like even with one player in Pennsylvania, I've never heard Philly be this quiet before. Yeah. They, Listen, they're it, blowing up Twitch if I was, right now, man. If I was not on the comms, oh, well, they're both fighting for oh, their lives out there. Oh, that's true. So they've, that was Pittsburgh's trick, right? Immortal knew. Ooh, ooh, Yo Yoda Cage production just informed us playing over on side stream. So, Pittsburgh's like, we gotta give our team the advantage. We're gonna split the Philly players up. They won't be able to get them both. Maybe we can find it out, catch them out here, Snivy. And speaking of catching out, finding that early double jump armor or comet from Yoshio, Icy Miss able to extend the juggle, getting 149 so far, but not able to close up the stock. And, you know, this is still very much Yoshio's to take because it's 62 now and the juggle situation. And all it takes is one or two good hits to Ooh. find. I love the mix up and not going to find his mark. Yeah, no tick throws. We already know those do not exist they, in this they game. They do, actually. There's uh, Ness down tilt is a tick throw. Okay, one actually exists in this game. For the most part, it's fake, but getting sniped out this dinosaur, getting put, getting put on ice right now. And Yoshio just trying to lock it down on Battlefield right now in the center, but Icy Miss has just been having such a great lead. And we already know how Samus has one of and the best advantage states in the game. And I love the attempt at that down down throw slingshot nair from Icy Mist, right? You get a much better combo off of it, even though your well, your forward air, right, does more guaranteed damage. If you can find that nair there, it's a lot stronger of a result. Now, Yoshi already getting lapped in percent, not where you want to be, struggling to find the stock fight, able to get these damage, get these juggle situations, but Icy Mist is so good at maximizing Samus' disadvantage with these slight drift mix-ups and slight timing mix-ups on those bombs, on those air dodgers, that Yoshio just really hasn't been able to pin her down so far. Yeah, and I know there's, there's one thing that Yoshio's gotten like through. It's that jab kind of mix to just get an option, just like kind of get a jump out of you. And that's kind of like the nature of Yoshi and just being in dry state. You know, you gotta get a, get a little bit of mash on with this character. You gotta get out of those situations. Absolutely, get up attack. I do quite like that from Icy Mist because, as, you know, the risk is pretty low because if Yoshi's gonna get that close to ledge, he's already gonna, you know, if he's not that close to ledge, he's already committing. So you able to find a safe way to just kind of put additional pressure on off the ledge. Finding the second stock, Yoshio still not able to close this out. Now, I love how Icy Mist is just kind of committing, not always to the highest damage options, but the safest options, right? Is willing to just play neutral more because she's been dominating it so much early on that she says, fine, let's take a couple more neutral interactions because the more I can milk out of this stock here at 165, the better. Yeah, and Yoshi go... Go, Yoshio going all the way out on the line to get the center drop, but there's the reversal. To Snivy, he going for that straight tether all the way through the ledge, and Yoshio just not quite ready for it, expecting to go a, them to go Ooh. a little bit lower, or finally closing out the stock. But he just seems able to get 50 extra percent off of finding that tether back to stage, age, and has been playing this so patient, absolutely beautifully, and. Uh, Yoshio has struggled to get off the corner, not necessarily got put. In, kept in, in the corner, but every time they get out, Icy Mist is saying, okay, take 20, take 30, reset. Now you have to deal with my charge shot. You have to jump again. You got to double jump. And just forcing these, not letting Yoshio play grounded at all, forcing out these jumps and double jumps, and they're just applying so much pressure that they can't even air dodge back to stage. Yeah, this poor dinosaur sticking all the way down to the blast zone. I'm gonna to be the honest, Samus. I don't think that, that Yoshi's it in this matchup. I I don't I don't think it's it. I don't think Yoshi's it because the, I think I th Yoshi's insane. The problem is I think here. Yoshi, I, I think Yoshio's Yoshi is insane, the, but I don't think it's it in this matchup. The problem here is that Yoshio, or sorry, <laughs> Yoshi is a brawler Not type sure. character. Brawler type characters traditionally have like a hard time kind of get in against owners. You only have so many options to just there trade with we the projectiles go. and everything. But yep, go in the deal. And, and you see the smile coming out from Yoshi. Oh, you know, we got the bull in the shoulders. Wait, forward, yo, putting the grin pink, on his face. Blue? You already know what's up. Yes, you already know what's up. You know up. what's up, man. We they say trans rights, we say trans rights. Shout out to the folks at home here yesterday, trans day visibility, but they still have been over here on April first. First, the charge shot 
contest is going to go in the favor of Icy Mist, as you'd expect, right? Senior player privilege coming out there. The get up attack from Yoshio, though, a little bit aggressive, going to get called out by that screw attack. And Icy Mist going all the way Oops. out to find the early stuff. You can see the character familiarity, right? Knowing the exact timing with which to punish that remote bomb. Yeah, now, with how aggressive Icy Mist was just okay. playing. I really want to see how she's going to be dealing with, like, Yoshio's kind of defensive play when he comes back from disadvantage and everything. Because Yoshio has that kind of different style to him that a lot of American players don't really do. They was mm -hmm. That was insane! Wow! That was insane! You saw the defensive right kind of poke to continue that ledge situation from Yo Yoshio, opting to use that timer bomb right to control the space and just the that down smash to just put you back off and then opting for the aggressive charge shot to just contest every bit of space that icy mist could possibly want to occupy by that being said at continuing to just rack it on these honestly the time timer bomb here use it has been absolutely immaculate from yoshi it's like you thought samus had the freest ledge trapping in the game yeah, she has some, some pretty damn good ledge trapping, but that is all Yoshio. Yoshio is a master of locking it down for the ledge, trying to cover multiple, multiple options. So many people have found trouble just getting through that uh, that whole ring. And if you want to see how two charge shots interact, well, as we just saw, right? Depends on which one's charged more. Generally, that one's gonna end up winning on out, looking for that forward air. But Yoshio able to roll away, not letting Icy Mist find the mark. Clash of the Dash Attack is gonna go her way though, and the corner situation to Boots Nivy, this could be bad for Yoshio. Yeah, but Yoshio holding the center here, trying to keep it, and there we go, that frame 5 up be out of shield. Wouldn't in the work, but here comes Icy Mist trying to reclaim what his hers, but oh, it's falling out! The falling out, maybe a little bit of SDI there to boot, but absolutely just kind of more the positioning of the move in relation to Icy Mist than anything else. I love that charge shot from her though, opting to find a little bit extra damage in order to just guarantee the safety back to stage. That being said, Yoshio recognizing since that charge shot's used, she has to start charging it up again, right? And that was when that dash attack came in. Perfect whiff punish. Gonna close it out. Unfortunately, coming oh. up short under the pressure, though. And Snivy, there's one more stock. This dead even. Which Samus is gonna come out on top here in game two? Oh, I already see Yoshio just trying to steal some of Icy Miss's trick. I saw that little jab grab. You yeah, ain't fooling anybody. Covered by the timer bomb, too, was so smart, man. Yeah, and Yoshio just looking to try to shake things up just a little bit by using a lot more grab in their neutral. That is something that's pretty damn committal if you're Sam, especially when you're in this state on your last stock. Absolutely. That roll through very risky, but Yoshio knowing, right? Hey, that tether grab, not the fastest thing in the world. I can kind of get away with this one here. Here in both layers are opting to charge the charge shot, but it's gonna be that Zare from Yoshio gonna find the break, getting the corner situation, but the F smash rate, a little bit of an overcommitment, and I see missing, hey, I like that Zeri used to catch him on platform. I'm gonna steal that right back. I'm gonna use that to catch you this time. That being said, neither player able to convert this advantage. Say Yoshio able to get back to stage here, but I see having to wait out the charge shot. The second one gonna come through, and the third one to boot. Icy Mist just channeling her inner Samus Haran, the bounty hunter like no other. Or she, she I think she's discovered the whole map tonight. I think she might have solved this Metroidvania. Oh uh, no, we still have Yoshio in here, but the dash attack. He's not going to take it, Samus. It's up. quite the weighty also, character. I don't know if you saw that up there, the hurt box shift, right? Making yourself thinner because you're getting sent to that side blast zone. Oh, and Yoshio expecting, hey, I might be close enough here that if I up air and drift in, I'm not going to die. But yes. if I don't do that, my hitbox is just wider enough that I might touch that blast zone. Oh, and crazy heads up play. You very rarely see any player in this game no matter who they are, right? No matter whether it's the Buzz, Leo, it doesn't matter, right? You don't see people use their hurtbox shifts to bend around the blast zone like they're more, right? Like they're Neo in the Matrix. Yet Yoshio somehow finding a way. This is a beautiful game three. E. And now with Yoshio back on again in the in the corner, Snivy. I mean, I think we're gonna see a different animal. Right Honestly, now. I've been watching Yoshio ever since that. He's just popped up at Bears, and if anyone's capable of making a reverse 3 0, a reversal, it's definitely Yoshio. Especially going with the Samus pick, he's definitely made, gathered a lot of data. He's gathered a lot of information to kind of combat against Icy Mist. But right now, we are going toe for toe, even forced to kind of just get covered by all of Icy Mist's options. Absolutely. Hey, you know, we're seeing these charge shots come out. Icy Mist, though, it's not just making a reverse 3 0, it's making the reverse 3 0 against. 
you know, it's, it's either Icy Mist or Teaser. I would say it's probably Icy Mist is the best North American the Samus grandmother. right now. Uh, the grandmother of Samus. But you know what's something crazy? I learned at Phoenix Town. She's not even really a fan of Samus. It's just her best character. That That's why she plays Samus. It's just her best character. She's so real for that. Yeah, she's, she's like so real respect. for that. <laughs> that being said, Metroidvania is great archetype. Metroid, great series. You should play Metroid Dread if you haven't. But right now, the only thing we're going to be doing is the charge shot war, the Zare war, but it's going to be Yoshio finding that down tilt to come on top, try and find the juggle situation. Yeah, we have a very haunting tune with this ambience to fit the Metroid vibes oh, with man. both Giving of these players. Chills. I, I love this song is great. It's it's so good it's and it's so unique to the compared to the rest of what's in Smash Ultimate, right? I and I love those songs with the unique vibes. Whether it's this, whether it's Snake Eater, like we talked about before, whether it's the Wii Fit Yoga theme, that's another one of my favorites. Absolutely immaculate. The more He's vibes, trolled. the better. I am. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> but I love that timer bomb. Speaking of trolling, right? Finding the mix up into that back air to boot, getting a little extra pressure. They're holding onto their jump until the last minute. It's going to be Yoshio finding the way back down, getting Icy Mist in the corner. That being said, that's a tether grab, Snivy. You can't get away from that while staying under that platform. Uh, uh, uh. And jumping over that charge shot, too, from Yoshio, but you're going to have to hold this very true combo with the two hits. The not down able to smash get the to cover platform? That was, that was a really smart read. Yoshio just thinking that Icy Mist is going to opt to go for it, but no delays the chase just a little bit and now you know you have to steal this you have to steal this and stop. i mean it was so heads up for my Mist too because you know you know hey i just did four up airs right of course my opponent's gonna respect the fifth one Bink. because if they because why wouldn't they right they're just doing the same thing over and over it, it hasn't stopped working why would it so just finding that down smash beautiful stuff yojio though finding the dash attack Icy Mist though whiffing the punish and that being allowing Yoshio to get the timing mixed up with that F smash. He was super smart. Now they're having to get out of the corner here at Kelperson. And if you're Yoshio and you want to stay in this game against a player as disciplined as Icy Mist, you need to find a way back. You need to find a way to get some more extra credit. Get yourself get Icy Mist up to 40 or 50 here. This is a good start, but you need to find those those forward air conversions. Yeah, it's I, I see Miss is just abusing the fact that Yoshio is really just trying to gain stage control, that trying to just though. keep really good positions against his character as well. That being but said, this is Samus. And the landing forward air into that up air, right, to get that advantage stage started, now getting 70% here on this second stock. This is very doable for Yoshio. That back air in the corner situation, the timer bomb gonna catch you a ledge, another Nair Snivy. It, it could be a way for Yoshio to steal the stock away, the down smash. Trying to say, I see you, now you see me, but it's not quite working out. That means it's not going to call. And I see you, you see me, but Snivy, which is my idea all along. I'm the one with the ace up my sleeve. Icy Mist going to close it on out. Yoshio just, Yoshio getting put on ice right now by Icy Mist here. And see, just, oh, nice match from Disadvantage with the parry game on lock. Yoshio just needs one kind of interaction to get this up to even, but you always got to be careful. Icy Mist knows how to swing this game in her favor here. Absolutely, that being said. This is well within Yoshio's range. You just have to find a way to close out the stock. That being said, so far in this set, we've seen Yoshio get Icy Mist at the high percent. But once Icy Mist is in kill percent, she just starts playing so incredibly safe. One of her best attributes as a player is her discipline, her ability to, once she gets to these kill percent, she'll press the risk early on at low percent. But once she gets towards kill range, she doesn't keep going for them, even if she has extra to work with. She tries to milk every single stock as long as possible, get the most interaction she can. And it's allowing her an extra 60% here, all the way hey, up in mid hundreds herself, right? And no. unfortunately gonna die, right? Run out, just kind of got her resources exhausted, but put in so much work there. Mm. Nice job on that last stock. Yeah, not to mention that Nair usage from her. Her, her Nair usage, when she mm. has you just sitting patient and shield just oh, that to get the so poke. Active. It's so good, like it hit, cause it hits twice basically. But okay, oh! Oh! okay, the, the phenomenal tech. tech. And you know what's crazy there, Snivy? That was a wall tech. And I don't know if you know this, but on PS2, a lot of that slope actually doesn't count as a wall and you can't tech it. You can't wall jump off of it either. Yeah. Or, yet, Icy Mist found the perfect DI angle there on very short reaction time to get on that one sliver right next to ledge that you can and able to clutch out the game and the set as a result. That, we've seen so much flashy stuff here in bracket today and in top 32, but I think that single tech from Icy Mist is the single most impressive thing I've seen at the game. That is today. that is the definition of godlike. Oh my to be able